The place that started it all. The place that drops my frames down to 30 FPS all the time. The place I love so much. I've learned so much about Minecraft here. I've had dreams about this place. I love it so much. But that is also another reason why we are going to be leaving this place. So, today is going to be a normal episode uh, for this Let's Play for this world. Uh, the next episode is going to be a normal Let's Play for this world. Then, World Tour and Download, episode 300. But I've decided on episode 301, we are leaving this place. There are two groups of people right now thinking two different things. Some people that are excited, and some people that are really sad, probably. <laughs> Before I scare you guys, let me explain what's going on. So, I have finally decided that we are going to be kind of starting a new world, but not entirely. I want a vacation from this place. I love it to death. I seriously do. We got so many projects that I'm excited for here, but I feel as if I need an escape for a little bit. So what we are going to do on episode 301 is travel 20 to 30,000 blocks in one direction and start a new life with absolutely nothing. I'm going to fly there with my elytra wings. Once I land and find a nice spot, I'm going to bury my elytra wings in a chest. We are going to live in this new area for at least 20 episodes to at most 50 episodes and see what we can do, see what we can come up with. And then when I decide it's time, if I get bored, or who knows, maybe 100 episodes have passed, we'll come back here. Now you might be wondering why I would be doing this when I have so many major projects that need to be finished, such as the lab, for example, which this is the only reason I've doubted doing this, is this place, because I love it so much and I can't wait to continue on it which I'm still kind of doubting because every time I walk in here, I'm like, oh my God, I want to work on it. But like I said, I have ultimately decided that this is a good thing to do because at times I don't upload on this world because I get on and I'm like, I don't want to work on any of this. And then I get off and I procrastinate for too long, but I can't leave this world behind. This is my life right now. Uh, I want to use this room to put this new egg in so we can study it. Um, well, oh, this, this will look nice. Uh, maybe I should have put up on it. No, that'd be cool. We can do some studies on that. Actually, I want to put this in a room where we can actually do studies with it and find out what it can actually do. Because, of course, when you hit it, it bounces everywhere. We can see if we can limit that in some sort of way. But you guys already have heard my problem when I start new worlds. I always crawl back to this world. But what if I start a new world, but it's in the same world? So that's exactly why I'm doing it. So now that I've got myself all hyped up to do this... I have no ambition to work on any projects right now because I know I'm going to be leaving in two episodes. So this episode and tomorrow's episode is just going to be preparing for the world download because all of you guys are going to have it, um, which means we're not going to do a whole lot because all I can think about now is leaving. I have so many new ideas and don't get me wrong. This is going to be like the hardest thing I'm ever going to have to do because I am in love with this world. I can't part with it because you know every time I start a new let's play I come back here um, so it's gonna be really hard for me even though <laughs> it doesn't really sound like it it's just just because I got myself amped up for these new projects out somewhere beyond and like I said I know a lot of you aren't gonna like this but just remember we're in the same world and it's just a little vacation we're gonna come back here so after the world tour on episode 300 we'll gather our thing actually we're not gonna bring anything I th well let me know your opinion on that what should I bring because the only thing I have right now that I'm thinking about bringing is my elytra wings and some rockets. And when we land in this spot, wherever we're going to go, I'm going to bury it in a chest in the ground and then start a new life with absolutely nothing. I'm going to lose all my levels too. I'm just going to spin it all here. Uh, let me know what you think I should bring down below. Um, and then we'll do that on episode 301. But for now, um, this place isn't, I'm not too satisfied with the trophy room right now. Uh, so I kind of want to mess around in here to get it fixed up for down. But it's like, I'm not satisfied with it, but I have no idea what I want to do with it. That's our infamous anvil. Um, and all these have like, that one doesn't. Wait, what's so special about this one? Is that the first one I got, I assume? All right, so first things first, not a crafting table. I have armor in here and I have these all over the place in my world. Just certain, not that, for example, that's like all found in strongholds. Um, but in here, I also have a chest. Is it over here? Yeah. And it has these armors in it because these are armors I wore for a while in my world. And I decided to keep them for some reason because 
I'm weird like that, and now I want to display them. I, I kept them in the chest for a while because I was wanting to go back and look at what episodes I had them on so I can label them, but we'll do that some other time, I guess. I'm just going to put them in the trophy room for now. And I know for a fact that I have two diamond pieces of gear. Where is it? Is that Are those them? I think they are. Yeah, these are the first enchanted diamond armor I have in this world. But considering the fact we're going to be traveling 30,000 blocks away, I don't want to... I don't want to trust putting stuff on armor stands for that long a time while I'm away. And exp I don't know. I'm expecting stuff to bug out while I'm gone. All right. That needs to be fixed. Finally and forever. It just takes so much wood. I think I have it though now. So let's just do it. I wonder if that's what's actually causing a lot of lag in my world though. I didn't really think of that. It probably is and I'm probably going to make it worse. Crap, which way do I place it? I don't remember. Is it this way? God! Of course. It's the one way I don't... Oh my god. Just, just give me it. Oh wait. Oh, Silk Touch gives you it back. I didn't know that. There we go. Awesome. It was episode 26 of this world when I added that dark oak roof, and I've always thought it looked out of place because I use normal oak everywhere. But that looks so much better now because it looks like actual little logs. No, I'm not stalling. Oh, I knew this would happen. My mind's racing on the thought of my new ideas, and I just... I, I love this I love this world and I love everything here but I, I I don't want to do anything here right now because if I start something interesting here then I won't want to leave you know what I mean kind of uh my journal let's just go mess around in the lab for a bit I guess oh and then I still got episode 299 what are we gonna do then I guess we can just mess around in the lab for a while start some projects in there but then I'm gonna get hooked on these projects and not want to leave you know what, a good going away present for this world would be finally adding the tree here. Now, I've tried adding a tree here before, but it always looked so awkward. So, I'm thinking a way to make it look a little more organic is to have one big tree off to the side and then a smaller one off to the other side. And I think I want them to be spruce trees, so we'll just give it our best shot. Okay, so the first tree I tried to do here was a spruce tree, and I believe I tried copying the original spruce tree too much, so maybe this time I'm going to go for a thinner design. I'm going to go for a really tall one, I think on this side, but it's only going to be one wide. Yes. <laughs> um, kind of like, you know, those really skinny spruce trees, and then over here just a little bit shorter, and then we're going to add some foliage of some sort around. Yeah. All right, what do you guys think? Meh. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to pattern the leaves to where they come out oh so little as they come down. I could probably put some more in, but I thought, why not add some fences in? Because, you know, small branches. But I didn't know if I should use dark oak or spruce. What looks better? Uh, dark oak, probably. Oh, yeah, way better. Scaffolding. I love you. But man, I wish it wouldn't do that. Is there a reason? For, I, I know. Here I go again. This is the second episode in a row. I talk crap about scaffolding. But why does it have to do that? You know what I mean? Because every other block in the game besides sand and gravel can be placed sideways. But I, I mean, that's just my most concerning part about this. It blows my mind. <laughs> if you know why. Oh, God, I hate that too. But <laughs> if you know why. Let me know. Uh, whatever. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to sporadically place these in some areas. I think that'll look pretty good. Gah. You know what? That doesn't look too shabby. I think we'll add another tree. But sh or should I add three? Okay, so there's my tall one. And I think I want another one to go, like, right there. It'll be a little bit smaller. And then should I add a another... Ah! Yo, this is actually really hard. Smaller trees, I think. Because you don't want to have... For these type of trees, you don't really want to have two blocks. Oh, I'm missing. I think I should... Yeah. You don't want to have two blocks next to each other. Two leaf blocks like that. 
in any way up or down because then it looks starting to look too blocky so you kind of develop this pattern but on a smaller tree it's really hard to look good but I think I did an okay job um, from a distance they both actually look decent but up close it... <laughs> I don't know tell me guys your thoughts perhaps I should put another one right here I'm gonna keep it like that for now though I kind of like it I might need to add some more leaf blocks up there all right now that we have a couple trees I don't think I'm gonna add another one I think two is enough because I think if one more was in here it would look like too much um, so this is actually going to be kind of like the break area for most of the scientists that'll work here one day. Oh, dang it. Now I want to do that. <laughs> oh, God. See, I'm getting these ideas. Um, so I want to make it look peaceful. I want to add a few, like, park benches. Would you believe, out of all these chests, not one piece of andesite? Why is this blowing my mind? It's, I I need it. I, I'll, I'll take that. Oh, that's a lot of that. And a sack. Gravel. Okay. And a sack. What the? Oh, there's got to be an side over here. I guarantee there will be. No freaking way. What kind of... No, it's gravel. Uh... What the heck? Yo! Oh, there's a lot. Thank God. What the heck? Oh my God, there's a lot. What is... Oh, yeah, of course. That's prone to happen. There's still a giant hole just for anything to come in. Go about your way. Don't they walk like a path or something? Or is it because they see me? Keep walking. I just don't think they know where to go now. Crap. <laughs> God, I can't even hit any of them. Uh, kill that guy. Nope, nope, nope. And then drinky, drink, drink. Okay, good. Now we just add some benches here. I think oak always looks the best. Put one right there. And then I guess one right over here. That'll look good. Then we want to start adding some flowers, but I think I want to go grab some coarse dirt and place under the flowers to look like they're being fertilized a bit. They look good. I'm liking it so far. You know what? I think I like it. I just want to keep it mildly simple. Just added this around the trees to look like it's fertilized. Add a few mushrooms and a flower. And it's... I like it, you know? It still feels like there's something off, like I'm missing something. Maybe maybe another tree. You know, I might end up doing that. I might put a tree about the same height as that one right here. I think that'll be... Yeah, I think that'll be good. So yes, on this rainy afternoon, actually it's 4.30 in the morning for me, <laughs> I'm going to end it here because, well, this episode and next episode aren't going to be much in them. Just kind of us spiffing things up, um, preparing for the world download, and then because I'm just so excited to head out and start a new life. Well, not I'm not excited. I am excited. I can't I can't find a good way to put it because I love this world so much. I mean, this place. We're gonna stay in the same world. <laughs> God, I'm all over the place. Um, you know what I mean, though. I'm looking forward to traveling out there and starting a new kind of house, but I'm gonna miss this place as well. We'll return to it. So today's comment questions of the day. First one comes from A. Harris. I felt like I've answered like five of your comments before. <laughs> I just know that name so well now. How do you think you're doing in life right now? And how would you like to improve it? Now, these are kind of like my favorite types of questions. Spe not the specifically the life one, but pros and cons. For example, look at something you really like right now. And it's, an o it's always a good idea to write down the pros of what you like about it and also the cons that come with it. Um, because most of the time, cons do come with some stuff you enjoy and it's good to write that kind of stuff down because i've actually started a journal in like mid 2019 um and this isn't a, like a journal where you write down your thoughts and how your day went um this is a, a journal i made for improving myself i write down my goals things i want to improve upon things that i learned in school that i really like and i want to keep remembering um I even have a, a section in it called language where I try to learn a new word every single day and it's actually really fun. 
kind of head down in that section and remind myself what that word means and then it'll soon stick to you and there you go a whole new word in your vocabulary <laughs> wow i got off topic um but i'm doing all right right now there's i'm kind of in that situation where i'm hitting a stump but of course i gotta find out what i can do to get over that stump and that's currently finding my own place and moving on because i'm i just turned 24 on december 8th and I don't, it's not called a, mid, a midlife crisis, I think, is hit around like your 40s to 50s. <laughs> no, probably like early 40s, but I don't know what you call it when you hit 24 or 25. Like, holy crap, I'm almost halfway to 30 in the 20s. You're like, crap, I need to figure out what I'm going to do. But I'm doing all right, and how I could improve it is by journaling. And I've already started my 2021 now, and I'm going to do it every year of my life because I've noticed a huge increase and just knowledge and remembering to do stuff. And it's one of my favorite things ever. Um, sometimes at the end of the year, I'll, I might show you guys kind of what I've wrote down. I could do that actually, that'd be kind of interesting. Next question came from Carolyn Coffee. I almost thought I said Caroline, that reminded me of my, <laughs> was it eighth grade? Eighth grade dance, the first dance I ever went to. The girl I had to crush on so much and I finally grew the pair to ask her to dance with me. And oh my God, she danced with me. And I, I was just like so proud of myself. <laughs> that's like one of my favorite memories um but yeah that's carolyn i <laughs> think what's your biggest pet peeve procrastination and slow drivers and when i see myself procrastinating i just throw a fit because time is the most important thing in this world and sometimes i see myself not using it wisely when you could be growing yourself and i just i hate i hate it when i see myself and others too one thing like when and someone sets a date to do something and they don't follow up with it it just it just tickles my insides <laughs> i just i don't know and slow drivers okay so i i kind of believe it is good to drive the speed limit but i believe <laughs> oh god what a great example for you guys uh i believe in my opinion you can be more efficient than driving the speed limit i think five over is good you would i don't think you would ever get pulled over unless your s cops are super strict five i drive five to ten over to be efficient but one thing i can't stand is when people drive five to ten under oh my gosh i just pass them with every chance i get and karma caught up to me i passed someone hauling a refrigerator i was on my way to school for a speech and i was kind of late already so i kind of put pedal on the metal a little bit and i was going downhill a bit and a state trooper was on the opposite side coming towards me and i was like oh he won't really notice. <laughs> well, little did I know, they can track your speed on coming towards you. And i that was new for me. <laughs> he pulled me on and was like, sir, you know you were doing 30 over. I'm like, oh, 30 over? Huh. <laughs> yeah, that was my first speeding ticket. $160. Jesus. But yeah, my pet peeve is slow driver. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where I guess we're just going to be fooling around a little bit more. And then world tour after that. And then off to a new life. I'm going to miss this world. I mean, we're in the world. We're going to stay in the world. Come on. All right. No babbling. Bye-bye. <laughs>